Hello and welcome to this Price a Job tutorial. In this video we're going to take a look at the newly upgraded Rooms function. Within the Price a Job workspace, the navigation pane on the left contains a variety of panes including Rooms, Calculations and Reports. The Calculations pane is where we do all the estimates within Price a Job and where we spend most of our time. However, the Rooms tab offers very handy functionality that when set up in advance can greatly enhance your productivity and we're pleased to announce a new upgrade to the Rooms Editor that helps you make complex jobs even simpler. The basic functionality is still the same. We can add a variety of floors or buildings. In this case, we can call this the ground floor. And we might have a variety of rooms. We might have a living room, a kitchen, and a dining room. And then we can input the ceiling and floor areas, perimeter, height, and walls area of each room. So for example, we might input 25 square meters for the ceiling and floor both with a perimeter of 30 meters. And the kitchen perhaps might be a ceiling and floor area of 12 square meters and a perimeter of 14. And for the dining room, we'll just match that to be the same as the living room, 25, 25, and 30. Then we could add another floor if we chose, and this might be the second level, and we could add a few bedrooms here. So here we might have master bedroom, bedroom two, and full bath. And although we call them floors, you could use this to add outbuildings as well. So for example, this one might be an exterior garage. So we'd call this garage, and then we could add a room, and we would call this workroom. And then we could fill in the various specifications for each of these. And then for each of these levels, we can add rooms. So for example, for the upper level, we'll add some rooms here. So for location number one, we can select a room title from the drop down list. For this one, we'll select bedroom. And for the second location, we can choose again another room from the list of titles, or we can add a new room. We'll title this one bath and save and then we can select that from our list then for each of these we can enter our various dimensions so starting with the bedroom say we've already calculated this we know the floor area of this will be 20 square meters same with the ceiling area with a perimeter of 28 meters linear and a standard height of 2.4 meters and price of job automatically calculates the walls area as 67.2 square meters. But if we haven't already calculated our areas, then price of job has a quick calculator here that helps us to do so. So here we would click the edit rooms icon here in the actions column. And here we can input the length of our wall, in this case will be three meters, multiplied by the width, in this case, two meters. And we can calculate that and price job automatically calculates the floor area as six square meters, same for the ceiling area, with a perimeter of 10 meters. Multiplied by a standard height of 2.4 meters gives us a wall area of 24 square meters. The advantage of having these filled in in advance is that when we open up each of our various modules to estimate work for each of these rooms, we won't have to re-input the area for each room separately. So for example, let's open a module here showing plastering and create this module quickly. If we wanted to plaster the walls and ceiling, normally we'd have to calculate the walls for each module. So for example, here, let's take a look at the ceiling area. In order to calculate the area of our ceiling, we might use the area calculator to add a shape, measure the shape of our ceiling, and then input the various measurements. However, because we've already configured our rooms tab in advance, we can just click on the rooms tab here within the area calculator, and all of our rooms have already been added. Now I've only input the area for the rooms on the ground floor, but for these rooms, it's as simple as just clicking the plus button to add this to our calculator. And each of these rooms is added to our plastering area for a total area of 62 square meters. Then we can save. And we've just saved a load of time in calculating the area for our plastering job. And now we can move on to the next module. And in the case of a module like something like skirting boards, we'll find that setting up our rooms in advance is equally convenient as we have already calculated the perimeter of each of our ground floor rooms. So we can just click the plus to add each of these rooms to our area calculator, save, 
and the total perimeter of our rooms to be skirted has already been calculated for us. And this is the way the rooms tab has always worked. However, with our new upgrade, we've added a new functionality to help you in calculating the various measurements of these rooms even for very complex shapes. So for example, let's take a look at the master bedroom. We've added this edit icon here, so let's go ahead and click this, and this opens the rooms editor. Here we can select from the drop down list and select from a variety of different room type templates. So we'll select bedroom. And we can see here, we'll just zoom in a little bit, that the system has automatically calculated the area, perimeter, openings, and walls area of this basic room. Over here on the side panel, we can see that the height is set at 2400 millimeters, 15 square meters floor and ceiling area, a perimeter of 16 meters, with zero openings, and a wall area of 38 square meters. We can adjust all this by inputting new values in these fields here, or we can simply click on the relevant wall and drag that to the proper measurement. So we'll expand this one to 4 meters, and now we have a room 4 by 5 meters. And you'll notice that as I'm dragging, the measurement is stepping in units of 10 millimeters, which is fine in most cases, however there will be times when you'll need a more precise measurement. So if you click the shift button on your keyboard and then drag your mouse, the walls now increase by increments of a single millimeter, and you can use this for fine tuning your measurements. So there we have a wall of 4,005 millimeters by 5,000, and our area and perimeter and walls area has automatically been updated. Now if our room was irregularly shaped, we also have options for either an L-shaped room or a T-shaped room. And then we can adjust our measurements the same way. Just grab the wall that needs to be adjusted and change it to fit. And you can adjust all your various walls the same way. And you can see that although I selected a T-shaped room, I was able to modify the T-shape into a fairly unique shaped room. The next step that we'll have to do is to add any window or door openings. So here is our Windows icon, so we can go ahead and click on that. And now when we hover over any wall, our cursor will automatically snap to position the window on that wall. So for example, we'll input a window here, and a window here, and a window here. And then when we're done, we can press Escape to exit the window placement. When we click on one of our windows, indicator arrows appear, and we can use that to reposition the window or resize the window. Likewise, we also have a function for adding door openings. So we'll just click on the door openings here, and we'll add a door here with one click, and then we have to indicate the position of the door opening. So we can position this to an interior opening and click again. And then we can place another door here, click once to place the door, and then click again to position the door opening. And then to exit the door openings function, we can just press escape on our keyboard. And now you'll notice that our calculations have automatically calculated the total area of openings for our windows and doors. So here we can adjust the title of this room just to ensure we don't lose our master bedroom title. And then we can close this window and all the measurements for our master bedroom have now been added to our rooms tab. And now when we use any other price of job modules such as plastering or skirting boards, all of our areas, perimeters, heights, and wall areas will already be input to save us an enormous amount of time in calculating the areas for each of our various modules. And that's how to use the new Rooms Editor functionality. Thank you for using Pricer Job.